hello everyone in the previous lecture we did studied about logistic regression decision boundary because every classification algorithm do use a decision boundary to classify between the data points okay so logistic regression as we very well know it's a classification algorithm okay and it is based upon logit function we call it as sigmoid and the value of sigmoid is from 0 to 1 we do consider threshold at 0.5 so any value greater than 0.5 is of class 1 and any value less than 0.5 is of class 0 this sigmoid function is given as 1 upon 1 plus e ki power minus 6 so what you are drawing now that is based upon this equation only okay and in logit we did studied it is a ratio of success to failure okay so we call it as odds so if p is the probability of success 1 minus p is the probability of failure this is called as odds we do have odds ratio which is written as p0 upon 1 minus p0 that is for zero class and this is for class 1 okay point we called logit as log of odds that's the reason we have written okay like uh, it's better i should log of odds now so odds is p upon 1 minus p okay so p upon 1 minus p so log of odds this is odds this is what happens in logistic regression p is the probability so obviously we are calculating here probability of outcome okay here probability has been calculated what is the chance you are going to get zero what is the chance you are going to get one that is what you are calculating okay fine so in the previous class i did solved this equation it's very easy this is to the base e you can take 1 minus 1 upon uh, p upon 1 minus p equal to e ki power y and then you can perform the cross multiplication so that is p equal to e ki power y minus p e ki power y here you can take okay on left hand side this is e ki power y p you can take common okay so this is e ki power y okay and then p is equal to e ki power y upon 1 plus e ki power y so p is equal to 1 upon e ki power y plus this will become 1 ultimately it will be 1 plus e ki power minus y so probability in logistic regression we get the probability 
Here y, you can write it as beta naught plus beta 1x. That is what you can write. The value of y as beta naught plus beta 1x. So it will become t equal to 1 upon 1 plus e key power minus beta naught plus beta 1x. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the probability. And if this probability comes greater than 0.5, you will be towards class 1, else you, you will be towards class 0. Okay, so in logistic regression, probability is calculated. Fine. So, what we have focused so far, so far in this particular topic logistic regression is a classification algorithm it's still regression okay the term here is regression it comes under linear model only okay linear model however we are performing classification with it logistic regression is good for binary classification that's what it claims that I am good for binary classification. That means if you are having two classes, 0 and 1, it is good in that. That's what it say. Okay, it is based upon sigmoid function. So here you are going to get the probability. Okay, the formula for sigmoid is given as like this. Okay, between 0 to 1. Obviously, now probability lies between 0 to 1. So outcome you are getting between 0 to 1. Okay, so that is probability and for that you are making this curve, logistic curve. Okay, fine. So this logistic curve itself is P now. That's what you have calculated right now. Okay, fine. Uh, here we are having odd. Okay, so what we call it as how we can get this thing. So we can get this thing by taking log of odds okay so p upon 1 minus p is called as odds and we are taking log of it so ultimately we have solved till here and we got this value okay fine got it now i want to talk about cost function for logistic regression so it's not new for you we have already uh, seen this thing in uh, information theory okay we have seen this thing all right and uh, what we have seen here is okay for example you are having actual and uh, predicted okay you are having actual and predicted two things you are having okay and let us suppose the actual value is y the predicted value is h theta x and if actual value is 1 minus y predicted is 1 minus h theta x okay got it i can explain this thing again that's what you have seen in information theory also with an example of apple and peach. Let me share my entire screen. Okay. And again, kindly do focus here. Let us suppose again, I am. This is actual. This is predicted. That means that means actual actual is the actual value predicted is what the model predicted okay this is what the model predicted actual is the real value okay fine let us suppose you are having apple and apple it is one peach it is zero that means app you you are performing an experiment and you got the outcome as apple so actual is apple so we call, we put its uh, n uh, numerical value as 1. Okay, fine. And we don't have the peach, so it is 0. The model predict, this in 
away like a probability it will say the probability of apple is 0.8 and probability of peach is 0.2 this is how model will predict okay got it and according to this prediction because these are two distributions this is first distribution this is second distribution we are having two distributions here okay fine and what we have studied in information theory cross entropy okay this is what we have studied and what is the formula for cross entropy minus p log q to suppose this is p and this is q so minus p log q you very well know that entropy is minus p log p okay summation so cross entropy is minus p log q okay fine so here if i take p is 1 q is 0.8 so minus 1 dot log of 0.8 minus p is 0 dot log of 0.2 okay so this will become 0 and this the answer will be minus log of 0.8 this is what the result you will get don't forget this thing okay don't forget this concept i have explained you in a very easy easiest of the easy way okay this concept cross entropy and this will be a cost function for your logistic regression and we have to use it ahead also fine now what i took here what i took here y h theta x 1 minus y 1 minus h theta x so what i can write here the cost function of logistic regression is given as y log of h theta x minus 1 minus y log of 1 minus h theta x that's what i can write okay h theta x that means it is a function of x this is a cost function for logistic regression don't forget you have to remember it okay and it's very easy how to get this particular value that's also easy fine so we can use this cost function for binary classification okay and in deep learning also we do use this function for binary classification we call there it as losses okay so while compiling a model we do write it in the form of losses loss equal to binary cross entropy so this is cross entropy and we are having binary we are having two classes so ultimately it is cross entropy binary cross entropy okay got it don't forget again i am making it as a star okay now in the case is you got this formula for cross entropy okay and uh, ultimately we have to perform optimization this i am saying now loss what i am saying that it is also represented by loss so cost function is equal to loss or you can say it is error in linear regression also right no, you do the same thing 
in case of linear regression okay what you have written minus summation of y p minus y divided by n is ka square so that was the cost function in linear regression we are also considering it as error or a loss that is the cost function that's what we are saying similarly here also it's an error and what we did here in linear regression we performed the optimization by performing uh, like uh, partial differentiation with respect to beta not and beta 1 here too we are having the same from same values beta not and beta 1 okay let me tell you how see again i write this cost function cost function is minus y log h theta x minus 1 minus y log of 1 minus h theta x that is what i am having here h theta x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus y that can be written as 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus beta not plus beta 1 x that's what i can write okay that's an h theta x because what h theta x it's a prediction remember just use your mind this is prediction and what is the prediction given by logistic regression what is the prediction given by the logistic regression probability what is the outcome given by logistic regression probability so what is h theta x probability again remember here remember what these are what these are probability so what is the formula for a probability sigmoid function log of odds 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus y or x okay so just try to connect just try to understand what it is okay fine therefore this is my h theta x this is my cost function the goal is to partially differentiate cost function with respect to beta not and with respect to beta 1 that's what i want to do okay to have the minimum minimum error or loss that's what i want to do okay got it let's see we get started by beta not that's what we will do so again i am writing the cost function cf is equal to minus y log of h theta x minus of 1 minus y log of 1 minus h theta x okay i need to perform the partial differentiation with respect to beta not of the cost function that's what i need to do fine uh before that before that okay let me do one thing uh let's have uh, some simplification of this equation cost function is equal to minus y log of 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus y let me substitute h theta x with 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus y okay the probability minus of 1 minus y log of 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus y i hope it is clear to you right now i just wrote only the first step of the solution for the cost function and i just substituted the value of h theta x that's what i did 
so now cos to function is equal to minus y okay so 1 upon log of a by b log of a by b is according to the property it is log a minus log b according to the property of log and log 1 minus log of 1 plus e key power minus y it is log 1 is 0 so it will be like this 0 minus log of 1 plus e key power minus y so it will be minus it will be minus log of 1 plus e key power minus y okay i have applied the property here it is minus of 1 minus y again just take the lcm first so it will be 1 plus e key power minus y minus 1 upon 1 plus e key power minus y so 1 1 get cancelled so what here i am getting cost function is equal to minus minus plus so y log 1 plus e key power minus y and uh, this will be minus of 1 minus y log of e key power minus y 1 plus e key power minus y that is what i am getting okay fine and then then you can apply again here log a by b log a minus log b so cost function is equal to y log of 1 plus e key power minus y minus of 1 minus y log of okay log a minus log b okay log a minus log b fine now next cost function is equal to y log of 1 plus e key power minus y minus okay you can multiply 1 with the entire terms so minus here this will be log of e key power minus y and uh, your minus is there 1 multiply by this thing also so plus log of 1 plus e key power minus y now next is minus of y into this we are having minus also so it will be plus y log of e key power minus y and uh, this is minus this will become this will become plus so minus of y log of 1 plus e key power minus y okay so this and this got cancelled okay got it both are cancelled and what i am getting i am getting cost function is equal to minus log of e key power minus y plus log of 1 plus e key power minus y plus y log of e key power minus y so e key power minus y let's bring according to the property of log log of a key power n is equal to n log a so bring minus y in front so cos function is equal to y log e e log e e will also become one log e to the base e it is one so it's over i am having y plus log of one plus e key power minus y and here also take take it uh, in front so it will be minus y square and this will become one okay log e e it will become one okay fine so this is my cost function got it and now i can substitute the value in the cost function y is beta naught plus beta 1x plus log of 
वन प्लस ई की पावर माइनस बीटा नॉट प्लस बीटा वन एक्स माइनस बीटा नॉट प्लस बीटा वन एक्स का होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द कॉस्ट फंक्शन आई एम गेटिंग आफ्टर सॉल्विंग इट ओके नाउ यू हैव टू परफॉर्म द पार्शल डिफ्रेंसिएशन वन बाय वन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू पार्शली डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस इक्वेशन बाय बीटा नॉट ओके सो परफॉर्म डेल कॉस्ट फंक्शन बाय डेल बीटा नॉट इज इक्वल टू now if i take the partial differentiation here beta not partial differentiation with beta not is 1 beta 1 is constant for it so this will become zero okay plus log this one the differentiation of log is the differentiation of log is 1 upon for example log x so differentiation of log x is 1 upon x so here it is log this term so it will be 1 upon 1 plus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1 x so this is the differentiation of log dot now i need to differentiate the terms which are inside the bracket so what are the terms inside the bracket 1 and this thing differentiation of 1 is 0 differentiation of e ki power minus something is okay differentiation of e ki power minus x is minus e ki power minus x so it will remain like this minus of e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1 x dot now we have to differentiate power also okay we have to differentiate this power so what's there in power we are having beta not plus beta 1x so this thing we have to differentiate okay so the differentiation of beta not will be 1 beta 1x will be 0 okay fine so only i am getting here at as 1 minus this differentiation beta not plus beta 1 x ka whole square so first power ka differentiation so 2 beta not plus beta 1 x dot now bracket ke andar ka inside bracket so inside bracket i am having beta not ka differentiation 1 this will become 0 so it's 1 so the here i am getting the expression as like 1 this is minus so minus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1 x divided by 1 plus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1 x okay minus 2 beta not plus beta 1 x okay that's what i'm getting okay fine now you can take the lcm between these two okay these two term first two terms so it will be the lcm is 1 plus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1x minus of minus beta not plus beta 1x whole divided by 1 plus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1x minus 2 into beta not plus beta 1x this two will become cancel so i am getting here the result as 1 upon 1 plus e ki power minus beta not plus beta 1 x minus 2 times of beta not plus beta 1 x so this will be 1 upon 1 plus e ki power minus y minus 2y this will be equal to p probability minus 2y okay so del cost function 
by del beta naught is equal to p minus 2i so you might be thinking sir you have you, you initially you were having so much p means probability na p means h theta x okay don't get confused p means h theta x only okay so you might be thinking sir you started from this much math sir sir this much maths you started okay and then at the end you are just showing p minus 2y this is the answer and if i equate this thing to zero okay there's no sense of equating it and, uh, wherever you see the logistic uh, regression or uh, derivation they are not putting it to zero okay just they are saying that uh, for many the optimization this should be the answer okay got it similarly okay just make it as star this is the star okay now if if i want to put it to zero for example dcf by d beta not equal to zero so p minus 2i equal to zero p equal to 2i what is p 1 upon 1 plus e key power minus y equal to 2i this is p okay now what you are going to solve here what you are going to solve Okay, that's a question mark. What you are going to solve here? So we are not just formally proceeding ahead. Okay. This is this should be the cost function optimization with respect to beta naught p minus 2i okay whatever i have solved i guess you have seen the differentiation in every step you have seen okay you have to follow the same again i am writing the cost function that is your minus y log of h theta x minus 1 minus y log of h 1 minus h theta x okay log of 1 minus h theta x you have already solved it the cost function the value which you are getting was this one beta naught plus beta 1 x let me rewrite it here so cost function was actually beta naught plus beta 1 x minus okay uh, plus log of this and this okay plus log of 1 plus e key power minus beta naught plus beta 1 x minus beta naught plus beta 1 x ka whole square okay that's what you are getting okay now let me differentiate it with respect to delta cost function upon delta beta 1 okay let me differentiate it with respect to beta 1 okay so what is the answer how we are going to solve it so again differentiating this with respect to beta 1 beta naught will become 0 beta 1 will become 1 i am left with x plus differentiation of log the same 1 upon 1 plus e key power minus beta naught plus beta 1 x dot the differentiation of this term is minus e key power 
minus beta naught plus beta one x dot. Now go inside. Okay, so this will be beta naught will become zero. This will be x minus first power differentiation beta naught plus beta one x dot inside. X is only left. I hope I believe that you know the differentiation. Okay, basic we have already done. If I talk about Indian schooling, so in twelfth standard we have performed this differentiation, this calculus. So you might be knowing about these things. Okay, so here x. Okay, this will be minus. Minus multiply this with x e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x whole divided by one plus e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x minus two into beta naught plus beta one x dot x. Just take the LCM. So if I take the LCM, okay, let me multiply this thing x. Plus x into e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x. This will be minus x e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x whole divided by one plus e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x. This will become cancel minus two beta naught plus beta one x dot x. Here you are getting x. Upon one plus e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x. Okay. Minus two beta naught plus beta one x into x. This you can write. This you can write. X into h theta x minus two y. X. Okay, so ये आपका okay क्या हो जाएगा? What it will become? ये आपका क्या हो जाएगा? E one okay what you will do? X x dot one upon one plus e to the power minus beta naught plus beta one x. Okay, this is what you can write. The entire term will be h theta x. That I will call it as p for simplification. If you want, you can write it like this for simplification. H theta x. That will be p. Okay. So, and this is your y. Okay. So, what you are getting x dot h theta x minus two y x. That is what you are getting. Okay, fine. I can again write it. So it will be del cost function by del beta one is equal to you are having x dot h theta x. Okay, minus two y x. You can write it like this: x p minus two y x. X you can take common, so p minus two y x. This is del C F by del beta one. Got it. So now you are available with. the optimization of the cost function with respect to both beta not and beta 1 okay fine so i can rewrite it del cf upon del beta not equal to p minus 2y Del C F upon Del Beta One is equal to P minus two Y dot X. 
you have to remember these two terms mandatory okay fine we are not further solving it we, it's not like that okay you got the differentiation of these two and you are putting it to zero no it's not the thing okay it's been mentioned that you have to perform the optimization and while performing the optimization these are the gradient values which you will get where p is the probability y is beta naught plus beta one x okay got it so this is the kind of maths which we do perform in logistic regression okay got it logistic regression as i told specially it is used for binary classification it's a easy classifier which is based upon probability it is using sigmoid and sigmoid is specially meant for binary only okay now the question can appear in your mind sir if we are having multi classification then can't we use sir logistic at multi classification can't we use this thing well the answer is yes you can use logistic regression for multi classification also all right if you are having three classes then also you can use the logistic regression okay how logistic regression will treat such kind of target which is multi classification now remember you have to think technically as i told the logistic regression is a logit function and the logit function lies in this way 0 to 1 this is the threshold point five sir if you are having three classes so sir are you are you taking two threshold for three classes that means are you having this thing 0 to 1 will you make three threshold for like 0.33 0.67 something like that you are going to create well my answer will be no i will not going to create like this no i will not do this thing that's not the way that's not the proper approach to perform multi classification and logistic regression what logistic regression do is it performs one versus all okay for example you are having three classes okay three classes a b c for classification so what the logistic regression do is first it will consider a versus b and c that means it will combine b and c so a versus b and c then b versus a and c so it will combine a and c so here you can see again binary classification here again binary classification third one it will combine a and b versus c binary classification so it combines and this is the idea it use it this is the logic it use one versus all okay so i think uh, you today have performed the entire maths for logistic regression okay from here we did started okay i think not from here i started from here that means i took five sheets to explain you the entire maths for logistic regression and how you do classify binary classification is very much easy and you did performed it for binary classification only but 
how it deals with the multi classification this is something which i guess new for you which you haven't heard previously so it perform one versus all so it will be considering this as first class this will be second class first class second class first class second class by combining the rest so one versus all this is how it will perform all right fine cool so yeah that's what i need to teach in the today's class let me stop presenting because i'm having a project session next okay let me stop it